In the wake of the blast, daredevil crews risk exposure to radioactivity as they go in with Geiger counters. Priority job is to determine the early limits of dangerous areas. Surface and deep water samples are constantly picked up by lead ships. Fires must be fought on ship after ship. Indications are that if the target fleet had been manned, the blast would have rendered it helpless. Fragmentary reports seem to indicate that this pattern included the area of greatest damage with the small spot above, and that this pattern marked the area of secondary damage. Warships that seemed only scarred and blackened from a distance were hard hit. Admiral Blandy and Secretary Forrestal lose no time in getting a close-up view of the damage. The German cruiser Prinz Eugen sustained more damage through one open vent than she had in some of the toughest action of the war. These films of the Jap cruiser Sakawa were taken just before she sank, her stern open to the sea. Hardest hit is the submarine Skate, probably the closest of all the ships to the bomb burst. The Pensacola mangled, her stacks knocked over. Photographs in most cases were allowed on the side away from the blast. Little damage is shown, but enough to suggest the full story. Instruments are removed and back to the ship laboratories go samples to be studied. Animal blood and strange metallic pellets. Today, the test at Bikini belongs to history, but the world will never forget its magnificence and terror. For the fourth time in history, mankind was face to face with a power that it must control or perish by. Thank mm -hmm. you.